What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Eagle Slayer95. Back at you with another video. I'm back with the juice once again. So, our Eagles are off to East Rutherford to take on the New York football measly, mediocre Giants at MetLife in the Meadowlands. Do they even play in the Meadowlands? I don't know. Who gives a shit? Either way. Um. We anyway, we play um, as we all know, Daniel Jones. I don't want to be too cocky because let's face it, there's nothing to be braggadocious nor confident. Well, I want to say not not to not be confident. It's all right if you want to be confident, you know, have be optimistic and have high hopes and be in good spirits so anyway um, Daniel Jones is a overpaid bum that's that the guy is in his what sixth year as a franchise starting quarterback for the Giants and he hasn't proved a goddamn thing other than being a turnover machine, a fumbling machine, having a shitty O-line. Um, their O-line has improved a little bit, just a tad bit um, this year. And, um, man, that O-line has been, like, trash dating back to even before the Giants had Odell Beckham, like, when Victor Cruz was like just broke out like that's how long or how even dating maybe probably before the Victor Cruz days um when um the Giants had like a subpar O-line um it's been one of the worst offensive lines in the league for years going on to decades but um, I don't want to make this too much about the O-line, but all I, all I know is that front seven better get home and penetrate No Diddy and get Daniel Jones' ass to the ground, No Diddy. Excuse me. And show out and dominate and be on your P's and Q's because um, Vic Fangio keep doing what you're doing um, don't be inconsistent for the love of God um, for once just I know we're going to have off an off game from both sides of the ball hopefully not in the same fucking game but yeah um I'm feeling pretty good about the defense tomorrow. I expect, I don't expect it to be like top notch perfect. You know, there's going to be some hiccups and mistakes made, of course. It's the NFL. They're professionals and they fuck up every here and there. Anyway, um, yeah, hopefully, um, Quinion Mitchell is due for uh, his first INT interception. Maybe a pick six, who knows? He can get lucky. He's one of those players that has good instincts that can read the ball and jump a route instantly. That's why we drafted him. He's a ball hawk. Darius Slay. Uh, is he playing? I'm pretty sure he's playing. He's on the He's been on the injury report this past week. He went out last game, I think, with a... I don't know what he had. Maybe like a knee... Or, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, he might be a game time decision. I think he'll play though. Um, re Blankenship. Um, I don't think, I'm not going to say he's overrated. He does, he has good instincts too, and he's a ball hawk as well. Somewhat. Um, he's improved in coverage. Um, 
he's not like John Lynch or anything, but you know, he's serviceable. And yeah. I'm expecting a good game from Reed. Um Quenyon. Um CJ GJ, Garner Johnson's gotta step up. He's been a bit of a disappointment this year. Just all bark, no bite. Um he's a loud mouth. Yeah, he's gotta he's gotta step up. Um Zach Bond. Um I expect him to be all over the field, making plays, getting stops and tackles. Even Brandon Graham. The old man, the oldest player on the team, maybe even the whole league. Yeah, no, he's not he's not older. Aaron Rodgers is older than him, but that's besides the point. Um he's for sure the oldest on the team. Anyway. I expect Brandon Graham to have a big game and get after Daniel Jones and whoever whoever he's blocking, whoever that is, it don't matter who. I expect BG to win that matchup with ease. Um yeah, I'm expecting uh like I said, the front seven to get home and you know, do their thing, man. Um, Milton Williams, Moro Jomo, um, Josh Sweat, who else? Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter. Jordan Davis has to step up. He's been, I'm pretty close to saying he's a bust. Um, I'm not there yet, but it's pretty fucking close. Um, but enough of the defense, man. Um, let's get to the offense. Um, Jalen Hurts, uh, What's his record against the Giants? It's not, like, perfect, but it's not, like, I won't say it's not good. It's even. He's got some losses against them, but it's whatever. That's the past. What are you going to do? Um, yeah, I'm expecting a big game from Hurts. Saquon's return to MetLife. That's going to be pretty big for him. Um, you know, there's been a lot of a lot of storylines and shit talking about, you know, him being a traitor. If he's a traitor, so be it. If you ask me, the guy just wants to win. He knew he knew he was gonna he knew his career was gonna die with you guys. So that's a win for us and him in our book. Well, not really a win for us. I wouldn't say that yet because we haven't proved anything yet with him. So, but there's that. But, you know, it's a long season. Uh, Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, um, they're going to show out. They're going to ball. Uh, when does Brandon Covey come back? He's definitely not playing tomorrow. He should be back pretty soon, though, in like two weeks, I would say. Maybe three. But, uh, yeah. Jahan Dotson, um, he should be involved. He should get a good dose of the low, no ditty, no baby oil tomorrow. I already said it three times in this video. Yeah, um, Dotson will definitely be involved. He better be involved in the scheme, game plan. Dallas Goddard, I don't. I doubt he's playing tomorrow. He's got like a what hamstring injury as well as uh what's his face? Jordan Mulata. He's out with a hamstring, he'll be out for three weeks. Fucking sucks, but hope you hope you get well and make a speedy recovery, Mulata. Thank God we have Lane um on uh Hertz's blind side. Yeah, with that said, um Calcaterra, he's gotta have a he has to make a big impact this game in Goddard's absence. Uh, Jack Stahl playing, I'm pretty sure he'll be. I don't think he was elevated from the practice squad. I don't know, uh, whatever. Um, he, he, he'll probably be involved too as well. Uh, Kenny Gainwell. Um, yeah, they're going to split carries. They better not. 
he's definitely gonna play and be involved, but I don't hope I hope he doesn't overshadow really Saquon and like give him more touches because this is uh, meant to be for Saquon to show them what the Giants are missing and yeah, throw it in their face. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm expecting a W tomorrow for his division game. It'd be nice to get a division win, our first division win tomorrow in our first division matchup this year. Um, so I'm going to end this here by talking a little bit about our idiotic, egotistical, moronic um, head coach as in Nick Sirianni, who um, we know what he is. Um, you know, he made some store headlines up with him and shaving his head, which is whatever to me. I really don't give that much of a shit. And him, like, going back and forth with a fan after the game, kind of like, I don't know why he did that. I'm pretty sure. I think I speak for most Eagles fans on, like, why he would talk shit to his own fans. But um, that's all water under the bridge now. Well, f from my point of view. Anyway, and him bringing his kids to the press conference after the game, as people say, it was a shield. So the media doesn't really, like, um, pin him down. Pause. I said no Diddy too much. Anyway, with the, uh, you know, the questions he doesn't want to hear and what he wants to hear about him, his play calling, and his, like, just about questions about, you know, situational football, why he ran on third and two, why he pass, why he passed the ball on a, fourth and one or any of his like dumbass play calling he does but um, I don't want to get too much into that you know just just win the game tomorrow because I'm sick of this Nick Sirianni guy and I'm just getting pretty bored and I'm kind of drained from just like shitting on him too much because you know I mean what's the theory you know, I'm not gonna say that he can't be himself because everybody, all the players came out this week and told him to be you and don't ever change for anybody, which is, I can't fault him for that, but the guy's still an idiot. And with that being said, this is your boy Eagle Slayer on 95 sign on out. Y'all have a good night. Go birds. Fuck the Giants. Let's get this dub. Take care, y'all.